California's marijuana users are in for a treat this Saturday as massive sales are expected across the state as new regulations hit on Sunday, July the 1st. All products that don't meet the regulations must be destroyed, so dispensaries are keen to sell off as much as their non-compliant stock as possible. You're seeing anywhere from 50 to 70 percent off, which um, as a business I'm losing anywhere from 30 to 40 percent on every sale, just so I don't lose 100 percent. The new regulations stipulate that all marijuana and CBD products must be tested. You need to be phase two compliant, which means you're testing for pesticides, you're testing for potency, and you're testing for microbiological contaminants, specifically E. coli, salmonella, and aspergillus. And then there are new rules on packaging and making the products child resistant. All of these elements are adding cost to the already highly taxed licensed dispensaries, and many of the cannabis business community are concerned the high costs will push consumers back to the black market. There are a lot of people that are saying that within the next year or two, you're going to see at least 90% of these companies out of business because how are they going to sustain themselves unless they go into the underground market? And, and really, it's not them trying to be criminal. They don't want to go in the underground market. They want to comply. They want to work with the Bureau. It's estimated there are 1,300 unlicensed dispensaries in Los Angeles alone, with many people unaware about whether a dispensary is licensed or not. And you'd think some of the tax dollars would have gone into informing the public about how to find the regulated market so they could get and receive the tax dollars that were going to be really necessary for this industry to be able to thrive and for the government to be able to have enough money to um, put into uh, enforcement. But if you see long lines outside a storefront this weekend, you're in the right place.